Hello guys. Welcome back to the Communicators. This is Pulkit Maheshwari and today we have Prachi Dev with us and she will be sharing her experience of Cognizant. So first of all I would like to welcome Prachi. Hello Prachi, how are you? Thanks Pulkit. I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. Uh, so before starting with the interview process, please introduce yourself to our viewers. Yeah, so you already told my name. I'm from Ahmedabad, Gujarat, and uh, currently I am doing the skill development course by Cognizant. And I have uh, graduated uh, this year from Bharti Vidya Peet in chemical branch. That is all about it. Okay, great. Uh, so starting with the interview process, uh, please tell some things about the test details. And then further, we will talk about the interview process. So starting sure. with the test details, you can start. We had our test on 18th of October. It was an on-campus placement, right? And then the test, it consisted of uh, the basic aptitude questions. Like uh, in the uh, math section, we had percentages, time and work, time, speed, distance, all the basic ones. And the uh, questions, they were not very tricky. Uh, like they were easy to moderate. And then we had the verbal section in which we had the reading comprehension, a little bit of vocabulary, synonyms, and then grammar. Uh, and then we had the uh, data interpretation and logic reasoning section also. So in that also, I would say uh, there were moderate questions, not, not too difficult, but yeah, moderate. We had uh, arrangement, questions from arrangements, and then, yeah, that's all. Okay, uh, so as you were telling about the aptitude and verbal, so were yeah. these questions difficult uh, that uh, they were able to be completed in time or you have to like work a little bit harder to complete it? For the math section, I would say, yes, you have to be a little, uh, you know, fast, not like too fast, but yeah, we should not be too slow. Maths may you need like a little bit of speed. Apart from that, I th you should be a good reader if you have to uh, crack that uh, reading comprehension. Although it, uh, it, it is not much asked, like it is one or two questions, but if you are good, if you have a good reading speed, then uh, it will be fine with you. So according to me, and yeah, so at the end, we had the, the coding section. It consisted of some uh, uh, few basic coding questions, uh, not too difficult, not too easy also. Some, so like moderate, like you will be able to do it. I think you won't face much difficulty in that. Okay. Uh, so talking about the test, uh, how would you rate the test on the scale of one to 10, the difficulty level of test? The difficulty level, I would say five, not too easy, not too difficult, uh, more inclined towards the easy side. Okay, sure. Uh, so now going to the interview, please tell your experience, what all questions are asked in the interview, uh, what all panelists were there? So I had uh, just one interview. I had both the technical and the HR round combined. So firstly, ask me to introduce myself. That is very basic in every interview. So I was supposed to tell my, uh, from where I belong to, and then uh, what I'm, what am I currently doing? What am I goals and all all of those things and then internships what all college activities have you done what all position of responsibilities were you on so that that uh, comes in the introduction part and then uh, since i am a chemical engineer so he asked me uh, so he was testing me how much uh, knowledge i had of my subject so he asked questions uh, of thermodynamics and then uh, some some other uh, terms related to the chemical engineering. Uh, yeah, and then after that, he asked me some basic, very, very basic uh, questions. He asked me first what language I knew, uh, what programming language I knew. So I told him uh, it was C++ for me. So he asked what's an object, what's a class, very, very basic questions. Like you, you will be able to find all of those uh, on the internet. There are uh, hundreds of resources resources available so you could just type uh, basic interview questions for c++ or any other language that you know for interview so you will get a variety of questions and that would be enough for the preparation 
Okay, so being from a non-CSIT background, I believe it it will not be difficult for the students to clear the cognizant test if they have the basic clear. Yeah, like uh, even they know that we have pressure, so it, they do not ask very difficult. Unless you are from a computer background, they might ask something, but uh, that would be on the basic level, not too difficult. Okay. Uh, for a non-CSIT background, you must be good in your core subjects. Uh, so that you can yeah. answer them okay. yes you should know uh, you should have uh, like knowledge of what have you studied in, in these four years your subjects and all uh, so the interview was uh, cv concentric or questions were random uh, i think the questions were uh, uh, very general like nothing new uh, that introduction as i told you the introduction then something related to the uh, it topics i mean the languages programming languages and then uh, and then the questions related from my subject from my uh, i mean branch okay uh, so do you have any advice for our viewers like what all topics they should cover before giving the cognizant interview or any other uh, things you want to tell so firstly i would say uh, just be confident it doesn't matter how much you know about your uh, like the coding thing he he will be asking very basic questions only he won't be going get uh, into the deeper level so you should be good uh, with your communication skills you should uh, know how to introduce yourself so even in case if you are not able to answer a question so the communication skills they uh, kind of compensate your mistake so uh, prepare yourself uh, good for how will you introduce to him and then uh, be good with the basics of whatever programming language you know and you can search uh, the search the sources from the internet there are, there are so many questions so you can refer to that apart from that you don't have to do anything and it it won't be difficult so you don't have to get scared yeah. okay great uh, so before moving further i would like to tell our viewers that we have a dedicated video on aptitude reasoning oops concepts dbms so i will give the card on the top right corner you can take the reference from there as well so as you have told that you have got the modules for the learning can you please share some topics that they have given so that the students can prepare before joining cognizant yeah so uh, some uh, people have got internship and most of us have got the uh, cognizant skill development course so it's a self learning platform uh, so like we can do it in our own pace uh, of course we have a deadline but like we can uh, go with our own speed yeah so we have database fundamentals and then uh data warehousing data modeling so we have these uh, videos which we through which we can learn and then we can test our skills uh, through quizzes uh, we have code challenges and uh, we have hands on uh, hands on is basically you have to type the code and then submit it submit the file and then at the end you have a, a summative assessment in which you have to score a minimum of 70% uh if not then it will affect your journey okay uh, and what is the duration of this course uh so it had started uh, around july i think yeah july ending and then it will go on up to september so we can okay. expect our joining after that okay okay great uh so this is it from my side would you like to add anything else to of yours if you want to Uh, yeah those who are preparing for interview i would say don't be too scared just go through the basics of uh, of the programming language that you know and just be good on being presenting yourself that is all i would like to say and yeah that's yeah, all thank thank you so much for your advice and uh, before ending this i would like to ask our viewers to kindly subscribe to the channel for regular off campus job updates and also for regular interview experiences and interview preparation strategies so thank you so much prachi thank you for joining us and sharing your experience yeah thank you for having me
Thank you so much. All the very best. Thank you. Okay.